Who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? Yeah, well, seven days ago, the rumors were true. Kingdom has come to AEW. And well, let me explain it to you. For those that are a little slow on the uptake, you see, when Kenny kicked Bobby out and used his EVP power to get his contract ended and uh, Kyle decided to try and go in head first without even talking to me. Well, I knew good and well that I didn't want to be friends with Kenny, Matt, or Nick anymore. But if Kyle O'Reilly didn't trust me enough to ask for help and instead constantly just relied on Bobby, well, how could I trust him to help me? get my revenge on Kenny for a year of being the fourth wheel in the elite the a year of being just the spare tire on the tricycle that is Kenny in the buck so I called two guys that I haven't talked to in a while two guys that I knew I could trust I called Matt Taven and Mike Bennett I called the kingdom because I needed Two guys that would have my back and would understand that this is about Adam Cole and Kenny Omega. So, Kenneth, you get seven days to answer my challenge. I want you one-on-one -on -one for the AEW World Championship. And then at the end of the night, at All Out, your winner and new... AEW World Champion Adam Cole, baby. Now we'll get out of the way. Let's get on with this shitty little show. Well, I, I suppose Hail us, Living Universe and Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. Welcome back to All Elite Wrestling Dynamite. We are getting the show with a number one contenders tag team matchup. We got a big night of action ahead of us here tonight. We've also got a big women's championship main event of Jade Cargill defending the AEW Women's World Championship against Thunder Rosa. That matchup is finally going down. Big episode here tonight. We've got the Keithley Invitational Battle Royal, and we're working towards. We're really working towards the uh, the All Out match card. All Out is only about six, seven weeks away, something like that. It's not that much longer until the second pay-per-view for AEW this season, which is a little terrifying to think about because that means that Ray and I got to record it, and we're both so busy. So the guns making their way to the ring. Colton and Austin, formerly of the Pride, but just last week MJF said that the Pride was a stupid idea that failed him miserably. And told them to get lost. But Colton and Austin's record speaks for itself. So they're going to get one more shot this time. To try, try and challenge twice in a century. But they got to get through Jurassic Express. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus making their way down to the ring. So Jungle Boy Jack Perry and Luchasaurus make their way to the ring. Let's get this matchup going. It is going to be Colton starting it off against Jungle Boy. Here we go. Jungle Boy runs out and Colton with a chop. Colton gun grabs a hold of him now, pulls him in, and pops him up for a suplex. Colton gun, no. Jungle Boy. German suplex takes down Colton. Now Jungle Boy getting him back up to his feet here. Throw him across the ring into the corner. Jungle Boy, huge Enziguri flooring Colton. Getting him back up to his feet now. Jungle Boy with gun. No, kicked in the ribs. Colton gun with a chop firing away on him now. Jungle Boy counters, kicks out the knee. Now Jungle Boy lifted up by Colton Gun for a powerbomb. Hurricane Rana from Jungle Boy. For the win, one, no. 
Jungle Boy getting him back up to his feet now. Jungle Boy, roundhouse kick Good for another one. Colton Gunn with a kick to the ribs now. He's knocking back. Jungle Boy, Jack Perry. And again and again. There's a super kick, knocks him back. Goes over the top rope. Out to the floor goes Jungle Boy. Austin Gunn now staring him down. The guns. The double team Jack Perry on the outside. Colton Gunn getting him back up to his feet now. Goes for a drop kick. Jungle Boy swatting him away. Big kick from Jungle Boy. Oh, and he takes out Austin while he's at it. Referee at the count of three. Oh, and the referee holding Jungle Boy back. He was trying to fly, it looked like. And Colton Gunn capitalizes. Turns Jungle Boy over. Cover. One kick out from Jungle Boy. And, oh, Jungle Boy slides out of it. Boy now kicks him down. And again, Jungle Boy staying on top here. Here comes Colton for a drop kick. Jungle Boy out of the way. Cutter from Jungle Boy. And now Jungle Boy getting him back up to his feet. Jungle Boy. Jack Perry slams him into the corner. Tag is made. The dinosaur's in. Here comes Luchasaurus. What are they thinking here? Oh, Luchasaurus dives with an elbow. Cover. One. Two. No. Nearly got it, though. And now, look at this. Luchasaurus, the dinosaur flying in. Standing moonsault. Takes him down. It was actually at the beginning of the season that Jurassic Express would lose to the gun club. And that would send Gun Club on their big run of momentum that they had up until Revolution when FTR ran through them. So now Luchasaurus. Oh, a jawbreaker connects from Colton. Colton gets caught. Luchasaurus grabs onto Austin. And Luchasaurus hammers down Austin Gun. Colton's got him up. Back body drop connects. Grabs hold of him again and slams him into the mat. Into a cover now. Kick out. Wait a minute. Gun throws a right hook, catches a hold of him, lifts him up. Luchasaurus counters, and Luchasaurus. Oh, look at the strength here on display with the running power slam. Bring him back up to his feet now. Luchasaurus lifts him up overhead. And what is Luchasaurus thinking here? Drops him and hits a moonsault for good measure. One, two, no. It's saved by Austin again. And now what is Luchasaurus thinking here? He throws Austin over the top rope. Sends him crashing to the floor. And Colton, I think, is now going to be in a world of hurt. As Luchasaurus scoops him up. And Luchasaurus, oh my god. One, two, three. Jurassic Express, our number one contenders. Just like that. Just like that, Jurassic Express get the win. Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus getting themselves back on track here as a team. Jurassic Express have their sights set on the AEW Tag Team Championships. Big win there, we got plenty more coming up on Dynamite. Up next, we hear from Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. A strong statement made there by the inaugural AEW Women's World Champion. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to find out who's going to get first crack at Malachi Black. 
Last week, John Moxley and Buddy Matthews argued over who deserves the rematch more. And then the, the match was proposed, a rematch from All Out Season 3, where Buddy Matthews had become the AEW World or TNT champion by defeating John Moxley. A rematch was set almost a year later now. It's time for John Moxley and Buddy Matthews round two. Matthews barely scraped out the victory last time, but this time he's got to beat John Moxley if he wants one more shot at Malachi Black. So Secret No More slides to the ring. But his opponent. A bit unhinged. Master of unscripted violence. John Moxley. The inaugural LS11 TNT champion making his way down to the ring. Moxley marching down to the ring serenaded by this crowd Moxley I'd argue came even closer than Buddy Matthews did to beating Malachi Black back at, at Revolution Moxley one of only two men now to kick out of the Black Mass so any further ado ladies and gentlemen here we go the matchup is on they lock up Moxley grabs Holman, taking Matthews towards the corner, slams him headfirst into the turnbuckle. Now John Moxley goes up to the middle rope. Moxley lifting Matthews up into a reverse dragon sleeper on the top rope. Matthews goes down. Now Moxley cover on Matthews for the one. No, kick out from Buddy Matthews. Goes for a right hook. Matthews out of the way. Matthews! Clothesline takes him off his feet. Now Buddy Matthews hits the ropes. Pops up. Hurricane Rana connects. Hits the ropes again. Knee to the head connects. And now Buddy Matthews kicking down Moxley. John Moxley powers back up to his feet. He shoves back Matthews. Moxley turns him around with a right hook. And John Moxley takes him down with a suplex. Grabs hold of Matthews again. Into another one. John Moxley staying on top right now. Bends the arm back and not Moxley bends back the arm. Mox stomps the arm of Buddy Matthews. Taking him down. And now John Moxley going after the arm again. Frequently working over the arm of Buddy Matthews. Trying to make it harder to lift Moxley off his feet, I suppose. Matthews is down. Moxley turns around on the arm now. And John Moxley takes him down. Drops an elbow on him as well. Matthews has gotten next to nothing in thus far. It's been all Moxley since the bell rang. Cover by Mox again. One, no, another kick out. Now Moxley getting him back up to his feet. John Moxley throws Buddy Matthews over the top rope. Moxley, no, Matthews counters. Now Matthews up to the top rope. John Moxley. The right hook, Matthews countered. Matthews. Meteora off the top connects. And now Buddy Matthews kicking him down. Stand on top of Moxley. Matthews finally answering back. Now Buddy Matthews answers back. Spinning wheel kick connects. Now Buddy. No, a knee strike from Mox. And John Moxley throws him over the top rope. The right hook. Matthews countered. Matthews tries to grab all of him. Moxley. Crashing to the floor goes Buddy Matthews. Buddy Matthews is down. John Moxley. Three against the count. Drop kick on the floor from Matthews. Put the count of two. Three count. Moxley throws him thrown into the barricade. Matthews. Oh, sends him crashing out into the crowd. Remember the count of five now on Buddy Matthews. Oh! Throws him out into the AEW fans. Moxley's down and out in the crowd. 
Remember the count of seven. Moxley out in all the fans. Eight count. Matthews breaks the count. He's not done with Moxley. B trigger connects. And now Buddy Matthews grabs a hold of him again. And Matthews sends him into the guardrail again. Matthews has turned it around on Moxley for sure. Moxley with a right hook though. And now John Moxley lifts him up, takes him down. John Moxley getting him back up to his feet. Matthews falls over the barricade. Now Matthews hops the railing. Moxley. Oh, Matthews rolling over the railing. Matthews throws a drop kick over the guardrail and hops back over. I'm going to cape it the hell out of that glitch. All right, you let me do it. Oh, went for a Meteora. Moxley slides back into the ring. Matthews caught him with a knee strike. Moxley. Oh, counter for counter here. Another B trigger connects. With the count of two. Matthews sends him back into the ring. Buddy Matthews hops back in after him. Matthews stalking Moxley, who grabs a hold of him now. John Moxley. Suplex. There's a shove from Moxley. Right hook sends Matthews back first into the floor. And John Moxley, knee to the arm, takes him down. Moxley went for a drop kick. Matthews got, a, got out of the way. Close line. Into another. And a drop kick again. Moxley's down. Matthews stomping on him repeatedly here. Buddy Matthews. Oh, John Moxley into a close line. And Moxley drops the elbow now. Moxley grabs the arm now. Buddy Matthews in some serious trouble. Moxley's got him right where he wants him, getting him back up to his feet now. John Moxley with for right hook. Buddy Matthews counter. Buddy Matthews, red shot. Moxley knocks him back with a right hook. Close line of his own. Moxley knocking him off his feet. Getting him back up the, though. Moxley, headlock driver. Done dirt cheap on that one is Matthews. One. Two. No, a kick out from Buddy Matthews. And now Moxley telling him to get up to his feet. Moxley. Whoa, looked like he was going for paradigm shift. Matthews. Knocking him back now on Buddy Matthews. Oh, hang on. Matthews with Murphy's Law. One. Two. Moxley kicked out. John Moxley kicked out of Murphy's Law. And now Matthews stomping away on him. Moxley with another closed line. Matthews staggering back up to his feet. Mox grabs a hold of him now. Buddy Matthews down with a belly to belly from Moxley. And now Moxley. Oh, Matthews. Answered back by running into him in the corner. And now John Moxley. Stun gun to secret no more. Moxley. Pulling back on the arm now. Matthews in some trouble. Buddy Matthews goes down. John Moxley. No, Matthews out of the way. Oh, went for B trigger. Moxley knocking him back. Counter for counter here. Moxley rolled through. Matthews. No, kick out from Mox. Now Matthews stomping the legs of Moxley. John Moxley. No, kicked out at the knees. Matthews staying on top. Buddy Matthews turns him around. Matthews. Oh, hang on. Backslide. One. Two. No. Moxley grabs a hold of him. John Moxley tries to get him up. Buddy Matthews counters. Matthews. B trigger. Now, Buddy Matthews. What is he thinking here? Matthews. Puts Moxley in the ropes, and Matthews has a hold of Moxley, gets him up again. Oh! Drops him into the ropes with a suplex. Moxley, big running clothesline, takes down Matthews. John Moxley grabs a hold of him now, and Moxley grabs onto Buddy Matthews, taking him down, turns him over into a cover. Both these guys want a rematch for that All Atlantic title. Matthews has never challenged for it, but he wants his shot. At one more match with Malachi, John Moxley 
wants his rematch, wants to be the All-Atlantic champion. Moxley bending back the leg of, of Buddy Matthews, taking him down. Moxley now. Leg drop across him. Knocks him down. John Moxley. He's got him down. You see Matthews gripping at the knee that he uses for the B-trigger. Knee strike again connects. Oh, Moxley. It's not, gets knocked back by dropping on his knee awkwardly. Matthews targeting that knee there. A great move from Buddy Matthews. Huge clothesline. Now Buddy Matthews. It's John Moxley back to his feet for another one. Moxley's down. Matthews. Getting him back up to his feet now. Buddy Matthews kicking out the knees. Matthews firing away on John Moxley. One more clothesline for good measure. And now Moxley's down. Matthews. Oh, this is how he beat Lance Archer last week. Matthews. Black Mass. Hits Moxley with Black's move. And now Matthews with Messiah Slayer. And Matthews going for broke. Matthews. Oh! Moxley got out of the way. John Moxley takes him down. Now Moxley grabs onto him. John Moxley dragging him away from the ropes. Moxley into a cover for the one. No kick out from Buddy Matthews. Moxley now gets caught. Matthews picked back up. Suplex again connects. Matthews staggers back to his feet. Desperately hits the ropes. B trigger. Telling Moxley to get the hell up. Oh, Moxley with a punch to the back takes him down. Matthews staggering back to his feet. Moxley. Forearm strikes. Now John Moxley, another clothesline into a bulldog. Down goes Buddy Matthews. Cover, one, two, no. Moxley tries to grab him. Matthews finds the counter. Buddy Matthews kicking him down. Moxley back to his feet, grabs a hold of him. What a cutter from Moxley. Matthews out of the way again. Now Matthews. Into an abdominal stretch now. Buddy Matthews. We're going to do the unthinkable and make John Moxley quit. John Moxley is one of those guys who never says die. He never gives up. Moxley. Hip toss to Matthews. Takes him down. For a kick. It's counter for counter right now. Chop for chop. Mox grabs hold of him, gets him up. Backbreaker. Has him down now, John Moxley. Drags Buddy Matthews back to the center of the ring into a cover. One, two, kick out from Buddy Matthews. Now John Moxley grabs a hold of him, picking him back up again now, and Matthews launched across the ring by Mox. Now John Moxley pulling back on the arm. Takes down Buddy Matthews again. John Moxley. No, Buddy Matthews out of the way. Matthews grabs hold of him. Sends Moxley off the ropes. Ducks him. Hops him. Oh, what a knee strike from the pop-up. Buddy Matthews. STF. Step over to old face lock. Matthews bursting out plenty of new moves in his arsenal for this one. Buddy Matthews doing everything and anything to try and take out Moxley. Matthews wants that one last chance, but Moxley elbows him in the nose again. Moxley knocking him back. Matthews staggers. Moxley grabs a hold of him. Moxley picking him back up. Throws him now across the ring. Down goes Buddy. Covered by Moxley again. Moxley for the one. Two, no. Buddy Matthews kicked out again. Now Moxley. Pulls him in. Paradigm shift. 
One, two, oh! Buddy Matthews doing what very few have done. Buddy Matthews just kicked out of a paradigm shift, but he's not moving after it. And so Moxley taking out the trash. Going back to the outside. Back body drop on the apron. Moxley gets him back up to his feet. Matthews counters. Buddy Matthews knocking back John Moxley. Buddy Matthews knocking him back now. And Matthews, another clothesline connects. And now Buddy Matthews sobbing away on Moxley repeatedly. Moxley's down. This is one of the longest TV matches we've seen in LS11 Dynamite before. We're currently just going to look at the timer. We're at the 14 minute mark in this one. Referee at the count of six, and Buddy Matthews. Oh, good lord. Launches him into the barricade. And he didn't want that side to feel left out either. Into the ring he goes. And Matthews back in before a potential count out. Stomping the legs now of John Moxley. Now Buddy Matthews. Whoa, kicks out the knee. Moxley. Whoa, counter for counter again. And connects now. And John Moxley shoves him back. Moxley. There's a hold of him now. Moxley. Oh, looking for Death Rider. Matthews knew that would be it. Matthews knew that'd be certain doom for himself if he let Moxley hit that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't happen often. We're at the 15-minute mark. That means there's five minutes left in our normal 20-minute time limits for LS11 Dynamite matches. So both these guys have got to wrap it up quick. Matthews trying to do just that. Taking down Moxley. There's a new sense of urgency in this one for both guys. Moxley shoves Matthews off the top rope. Takes him down with a knee to the head. And now John Moxley. No, Buddy Matthews out of the way. Into another closed line. Oh! Both guys launched at one another, and Matthews got the better of it that time. Buddy Matthews can't waste time pacing like this. He's got to stay on top of him. He's only got four minutes. Moxley out of the way. Now John Moxley looking to capitalize. Oh, Matthews goes down. A count out counts. Everything counts in this matchup. Moxley with a chop. Matthews with a punch. Counter for counter. Blow for blow. Right hook from Mox. Discus punch from Matthews. Who's going to get the better in the other? Moxley with a cutter. Matthews with a kip up. They collide again. B trigger. They're brawling up the ramp. Another cutter. Six count. Matthews takes him down with another knee. Another knee. He throws Moxley, who collapses at ringside. Eight. Eight count, another B trigger. Just take what you can get, buddy. Oh my God! Buddy Matthews dives onto Moxley, throws all caution to the wind, sends him into the steps. Now Buddy Matthews has a hold of John Moxley again. Sends him back into the ring. Buddy Matthews goes to the top rope. Moxley's down. Matthews is telling him to get up. Buddy Matthews points to the sky. Here we go. Meteora. Moxley powers back up to his feet. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes remain before the final, before the bell is rung for a time limit draw. Moxley gets him up. Matthews fights out of it. Buddy Matthews, right hand connects. Matthews, Messiah Slayer. 
One. Moxley out at one. Moxley kicked out at one. Matthews kicked him in the ribs again. Matthews. Murphy's Law. One. Two in a very quick two count. Moxley out again. Matthews has no clue what to do. Moxley sweeps the leg. And now John Moxley. We're going to have the knee, Moxley. As Matthews right where he wants him. Moxley, you got one minute left, John. Oh, wait a minute, Matthews. Heard me, it seems. Kicks Moxley down. Matthews putting boots to Moxley. Here comes Mox. Matthews. Hurricane Rana. Double axe handle. And again. Oh, went for another one. Moxley out of the way. Moxley. Gets him up again. Matthews. 30 seconds. B trigger. Matthews goes around to the head. Matthews stomping the head of Moxley. Moxley back to his feet. 15 seconds. Matthews. Oh, gets caught. Moxley. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. That's time. The referee calls time. And still, these two just want to go at it. Moxley and Matthews. The match is done. The match has been thrown out. It's a time limit draw. But these two not going to stop going to town on one another. They both want to be the number one contender to the All-Atlantic title. And they'll be damned if the other man goes to fight Malachi Black before them. They're just swinging for the fences. Matthews takes down Moxley. That's enough. Both of you. Clearly, putting you in a one-on-one -on -one match with a time limit was a bad idea. There's only one thing left to do. You want a shot at Malachi. You want a shot at Malachi. But a time limit's not going to fix anything, and a last man standing match would probably never end. So I've got one more idea. Two weeks from the day. I'm giving you guys the night off next week. Take that time to train. Get any arrangements in order you might need to. Two weeks from the night. The main event of Dynamite. Buddy Matthews. John Moxley. 30 minute. Iron Man match. If there's no falls at 30 minutes. Then we'll have a team of judges. Decide the winner. And that man. Goes on to challenge Malachi Black. Now get out of the ring. The Keith Lee Invitational is up next. What a blockbuster announcement, folks. Two weeks from tonight, another big matchup. John Moxley and Buddy Matthews in a 30-minute Iron Man match. But it is time for the Keith Lee Invitational Battle Royal. The winner of this matchup challenges Keith Lee for the TNT Championship at a later date. Out first, MJF, one of the only men in AEW to have defeated Keith Lee. Former AEW World Champion, gonna make his way to the ring. Forewarning, warning, with there being eight entrances, I'm just, yeah, we'll, we'll say what we need to say and move on because we just did a 20 minute match. I feel like you guys wanna jump right into the next thing. And uh, if you hear other music kind of bleed in, that just means that I didn't have the music modded in, so I edited it in. Which brings out Eddie Kingston, the Mad King, as the second man in this one. Oh, look at that, 2K finally fixed the glitch with the shirt glitching into the singlet. Eddie Kingston marches down to the ring. And out next. Here comes Hook. 
It's time to send Hook. The cold-hearted, handsome devil making his way to the ring out next. And out next. Here comes Bandito to the ring. Bandito made a hell of a dynamite debut a couple weeks ago, taking on Kenny Omega for the AEW World title. He'd, he'd appeared on Rampage once or twice in the past to challenge Malachi Black for the team, for the All-Atlantic title. So Bandito makes his way to the ring. Clockwork. Freaking clockwork. Out next. Red Death. Daniel. Garcia. His mentor, Brian Danielson, able to get him into this matchup. Keith Lee respecting the hell out of the young Daniel Garcia, wanting him in here as well. Now next, the realist, a man who's on a hell of a streak as of late. Learning to finally get a title match. Swerve Strickland going to make his way to the ring. The realist, Swerve Strickland, is out next. Former Impact World Champion. Who's left? Well, here comes freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy to the ring. So far, every name has made pretty good sense to me that Keith Lee would pick them. Orange Cassidy, a fan favorite. I'd be interested to see what happened if he got in the ring with a guy like Keith Lee. But, who's left? There's only one name left to enter the Keith Lee Invitational. Oh, man. Wardlow is back. We have not seen Wardlow since Revolution, and I think MJF may have just crapped himself. Last time we saw Wardlow, MJF cheated to beat him at Revolution, and now Wardlow is entering the Keith Lee Invitational Battle Royal. And it's a hell of a mosh pit in here right now. Bandito going after the biggest man in the yard, Wardlow. Wardlow grabs a hold of him. Wardlow. Oh, Bandito holds on. MJF going after Daniel Garcia. Eddie Kingston and Orange Cassidy going at it. Hook and Swerve Strickland going at it. Wardlow dumps out Bandito. And now Wardlow tried to grab on just Orange Cassidy. Bandito, a world-class talent, immediately dumped by Wardlow. Oh, Eddie Kingston barely hangs on. Orange Cassidy, now he's going to try and hang in there. Orange Cassidy. Again tries, but Wardlow hangs on. Wardlow throws him at the ropes. Bodies are flying everywhere. Orange Cassidy eliminated by Wardlow. And now Swerve Strickland going to try. Wardlow eliminates Swerve. Oh, my God. Hook coming after Wardlow now. Wardlow, in just a matter of moments, is cleaning house. D Hook is gone. And now Wardlow. The same to Daniel Garcia. And Eddie Kingston goes after MJF, but Wardlow says nothing personal, Eddie. Oh, Eddie hanging on. MJF. Wardlow and Eddie Kingston, the final three men in this very quick so far battle royal. Oh, and Eddie, you can see MJF just thinking, oh shit, at the sheer sight of what he's seeing. Wardlow with Eddie Kingston, MJF joining in. And it's down to MJF and Wardlow, Wardlow! Kicks MJF in the face. 
And Wardlow just screamed, there's no one to save you this time. Wardlow. Oh, MJF trying to punch his way out of the power bomb. Wardlow just eliminated everybody. Headbutts MJF. Wardlow eliminated everybody to make it just himself and Max. MJF is in a world of hurt from Wardlow. Wardlow, knee to the jaw of MJF, and now Wardlow. Oh God, Wardlow pops him up. F-10. If I said MJF crapped himself when Wardlow's music hit, you ain't seen nothing till that. Wardlow storms through the Keith Lee Invitational. Which means I get to say the line when the match happens. Wardlow just eliminated seven guys practically single-handedly. Wardlow is heading to a TNT title match with Keith Lee. One match remains tonight, and I promise you it won't be as long as the previous match. It won't be as short as this one. It'll be somewhere in between. Jade Cargill, Thunder Rosa, coming up next. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. It's time for the AEW Women's World Championship. Here comes Thunder Rosa to the ring. Thunder Rosa making her way down to the ring. She's been on a roll as of late after getting that lights out victory over Anna Jay back at Revolution. She then beat Ruby Soho just a couple of weeks ago to officially mark herself as number one contender to the AEW Women's World Championship, but she's got to take on the AEW Women's World Champion. Jade Cargill. A storm is coming to AEW tonight as Jade Cargill prevent, prepares for her second championship defense since winning the gold. Jade Cargill makes her way to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. That is what they fight for, the AEW Women's World title. It's Thunder Rosa, it's Jade Cargill. There we go. Kicks the wrist from Jade. Thunder Rosa with a knee strike. And has kicked from Thunder Rosa. Going away on Cargill, knocks her back. Now Jade turns around with a right hook. Jade Cargill grabs onto her back body. Drop connect. Grabs a hold of her now, and Thunder Rosa headbutt takes her down. Kicking her down now is Thunder Rosa. And Cargill back to her feet. Cargill runs her over. Now Cargill grabs onto her, Jade. Goes back on the arm and knocks her down, Jade Cargill. In the corner. Thunder Rosa back to her feet. Thunder Rosa grabs a hold of her, and Rosa goes to the middle rope. Thunder Rosa. DDT connects to Jade Cargill. Down to ground pound now. Thunder Rosa taking her down. And a stomp to the chest of Jade. Thunder Rosa keeping her down with more kicks. Jade back to her feet now. And Jade scoops her up. Sidewalk slam takes her down. Cargill getting her back to her feet. Kicks her in the ribs now. And Jade pulls her in. Scoops her up on her shoulders. And Cargill stun gun to Rosa. Thunder Rosa goes down. Jade Cargill. Turns her around with a right hook, and now Jade. German suplex. Whoa, look at that. Flips it into a cover. Kick up from Thunder Rosa. Jade goes for a kick. Rose out of the way. Cargill grabs a hold of her now, and Cargill 
Oh no, Rosa countered. Rosa turns her around. Thunder Rosa pulls her in, lifts her up. Thunder Rosa drives her into the mat. Cover. One, two, pick up from Cargill. Jade Cargill gets the shoulders up. Thunder Rosa kicking her down. Rosa, no, Cargill sweeps the leg. Now Cargill getting her back up to her feet. Pulls her in near the ribs. This is what won her the championship. Drops her on her face in the center of the ring into a cover now. One, two. There's a kick out from the challenger. Thunder Rosa's down, Cargill. Goes for another kick, Rosa. Goes back to her feet, Cargill. Grabs a hold of her in the strength on display here from the champion who launches her across the ring and drops the elbow for good measure. Now Jade has her down, Jade Cargill. Grabs onto her again, look at the strength here on display from the champion. Lifts her up, carrying her around, deadlift. Into, into just a drop in the center of the ring. Grabs her now, getting her back up to her feet. Goes for right hook. Rosa counters now. Thunder Rosa scoops her up. Four. Fire Thunder Driver. Cover. One. Two. Nearly got her. We nearly had a new champion. Rosa's got her down. Now Thunder Rosa kicking out the legs. Just trying to keep her off her feet. Probably a good move. Turns around though and Cargill now gets her up for Jaded. Turns her around. Cover. One. Two. Kick out again. Both women have now hit their best shots. It could be all over with one more big move from either side. Sweeps the leg. Another clothesline. Into another one. Thunder Rosa ducks her. Super kick. Taking her down. And now Rosa getting Cargill back up to her feet. Thunder Rosa. A jab into a chop. Thunder Rosa now with a spank back fist. There's a kick and another one. Thunder Rosa now. Oh, gets caught. Cargill. Counters again now. And Jade Cargill drops her into the center of the ring. Into another cover. One. Two. Kick out again from Thunder Rosa. Now Jade Cargill getting her back up to her feet. Oh, there's the kick. And that one could have ended it. One, two, three. No. It looked like it was over. I thought that was a three count. Referee says it wasn't though. Now Cargill just posing over her fallen opponent. She believes she's got it one at this point. Pulls back on the arm of Thunder Rosa. And now Jade Cargill grabs onto her again. Gets her back up to her feet. Punches her in the face. And drops the elbow again. Thunder Rosa's down. Jade Cargill. Drops the elbow again. Rosa's down. Is she out for good? Again. Continually dropping the elbow. Rosa finally wakes back up. Gets caught though. Cargill gets her up on her shoulders. And drops her into the ropes with a stun gun. Grabs a hold of her now. Rosa's back to her feet. Cargill tried to punch her. Rosa knocks her into the ropes. Kicks her in the face. Now Thunder Rosa getting her back to her feet. There's a jab. Thunder Rosa firing away on her with a back fist. Thunder Rosa staying on top of her. Spinning back fist again. Knocks her back. Jade Cargill. Her's back. What is she thinking here? Oh, she's got her one more time. Jaded turns her right to the center of the ring. Looks back at the ref, says, Count it one, two. That's it. A big win there for the champion. Cargill, despite potentially working against the odds with a much more experienced competitor, gets the win. Jade Cargill continues to prove her dominance as the AEW Women's World Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night of action it's been here on Dynamite. Thank you all for tuning in this week. I'll see you all on, on Thursday for another edition of Impact. And then, of course, SmackDown on Friday and Extreme Rules 
this coming Saturday, as well as another edition of LSWF Kickoff. Until then, everybody, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.